Alright you guys, it's Elevated here, coming at you with September's haikus. Uh, this video is titled Septiembre Siesta. Um, so, a um, couple things. Mm, I think, like the last, especially like the last month, like a couple of months, um, the poetry started getting a little bit more like philosophical than poetic. But um, I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure for the rest of the year, it starts sliding back more into poetry than philosophy. So yeah, that'll be good. Um, another thing is I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with this format, the same one I did for last month's, where it's just like random um, art pieces, um, <clears throat> as opposed to like having a theme. Um, or featuring an artist or doing nature uh, videos. I actually like, I don't know if I mentioned it, I broke my uh, tripod so I can't really record uh, those nature videos anymore, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, so we'll go ahead and get started. Gorging, swollen, full, an ambitious appetite always disappoints. <laughs> don't bite off more than you can chew. Calculated, coordinated, concerted efforts. Find your perspective. Visualize the whole. Um, there was um, like an old um, allegory, I guess. I don't even know if it's called that. But it's like um, six blind men um, all examining an elephant from like six different angles so one's examining the tail with his hands one's examining the tusk the ears a foot the trunk like all of these um all of these blind people are going to give you a different answer on what they think they're feeling um like uh the thing about perspective is um it's it it's it's limited um I don't want to say this. Like, you can have, like, a good, like, perception of what your perspective is, but, like, unless you're also aware of, like, where your perspective fits in the whole field, like, yeah, you know, um, you can't visualize the whole unless you can triangulate where your perspective is on what you visualize that makes sense whatever um ooh, i like this one let our words lay heavy on the earth their gravitas shuddering our internal walls upon impact and i think that's a that's a bosch painting i probably should do a feature with uh bosch because he's also one of my favorite um artists sometimes i think music is the answer to everything but then i wonder the hell is a question <laughs> like kneading dough you must repeat patterns well whoa like kneading dough you must repeat patterns in the brain till they solidify firmly in reality even though kneading dough doesn't really solidify the dough but whatever uh <laughs> another word i came up with squaggish profundity Mental tectonic shift. Sound the great land horns. Held breath silence. Anticipation. Um, this reminds me of like the, um, the blomps, <laughs> uh, from, uh, uh, what was that movie? War of the Worlds. Like, just that, like, or, um, I say hor uh, horns in this one, but like um, how they say, I can't remember if it's tigers or lions, but either either one of them has a roar that like actually paralyzes its prey. Like it's just so like, I don't know what it is, but yeah. <laughs> I like chicken. I like eggs, but both on the same dish is just sadistic. <laughs> um, ooh. First person self. Talking to my second person self about my third person self. Um, so this is one of those 
Um, you know, when you're home alone and you do, like, weird faces in the mirror or just do, like, random, like, goofy stuff. Um, I was talking to myself about myself in that situation. I think I said something like, haha, he's so silly or whatever, but it was, like, it was just very <laughs> weird how it's, like, all, like, three different, um, person perspectives talking about and to the same person uh at its best love is nothing more than mutually assured destruction live independently of pillage plunder desecration or violation of others or the earth and I have a picture of, it reminds me of, it's not a picture of, um, but it reminds me of the ferryman from Siddhartha. <sighs> I wish, I wish I knew what I was referring to when I wrote this one down, but I really don't. Um, the Hades to my Zeus. <laughs> These clouds are looming. Bastion of civic pride. Destitute aptitudes, commoner squabble over who accomplishes less. What can life offer compared to your love? Sunrises envy your beauty. Race is an illusory psychosocial construct. I like how people say gender is a social construct, but like nobody says race is a, <laughs> is a construct. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Charting civil unrest like weather maps. Indeed. He came and saw and laughed and wept and hugged and kissed the others, but beyond that felt nothing. Simultaneous reaction to an action. Um, this one reminds me of um, Bruce Lee's Be Like Water. Um, so he had the typical, like, um, uh, what was that story? So he's talking about, like, defending yourself from an attack. And it's like, if you're sitting there, like, expecting an attack from a certain direction, and it comes from a completely different direction, you're not going to be ready for it. Like, if you're training all your, all your life for, like, um, doing this or that, um, it doesn't really work. Um, in unforeseen circumstances, so he talks about being like a barrel of water, where no, if you if you if you stab it with a sword, no matter in what direction, the water immediately pours right back out from that uh, uh, hole that you created. So yeah, that simultaneous reaction to an action, pining for great yawnings. Um, Nothing feels better than having a like a full accomplished day and <laughs> yawning at the end of it. Mastering the social instrument, indeed. Um, reminds me of the other um haiku I did where it was like these people read social cues like they're dyslexic. <laughs> I thought that was funny. So yeah. Think significantly, of course. Ugh, that anxious desire of looking into the mirror and expecting, hoping, or fearing anything different. All right, I think that's it. Yep, all right, you guys. Um, this one's probably a little short uh, compared to my others, but it's whatever. It's my poetry videos. Nobody really watches these anyways. I don't care. Um, Y'all have a good one. Later.